When I was 14 years old, I started working in the construction industry. I used to carry blocks 10 floor high to help my supervisor in building a hotel. That's where I learned a lot of things. I learned how to appreciate workers. I learned how to appreciate teamwork. I learned to be a leader from my leaders. My name is Clovis Abinader. I was born in Lebanon and I love to build things. I was born in Junie, which is a very beautiful city uh, at seafront, gorgeous, you know, surrounded by mountains and hills. Uh, we are originally from a beautiful Phoenician ancient city called Batrun, and was born uh, as one of 11 children, living in a house of two bedrooms, one kitchen, one dining room. It was not easy, but it was amazing. I wish to sleep all together in, in two rooms with my parents in another room it was amazing. How we bonded together as a family. We used to go swimming, me and my younger brothers, we used to sneak away from home, go to the beach because it was very close to our home. You know, We lived at the sea city. Come back home, you know, full of sand and we, we get yelled at by mom. You know, you guys, where have you been? We've been looking for you. At the time, you know, there was no mobile phones to call anybody and you just, decided let's go to the beach we go to the beach and we, we you know in the winter we used to go skiing because you know in Lebanon you have a beautiful skiing season when I was 16 years old we had war in Lebanon and after five years during the war I tried to go to college to study to be an architect and then when I was 21 uh, my father gave me $100 and a ticket to go to the US I went to the U.S. and I lived with my uh, uncle, who was a priest at the church, and uh, started to understand what I'm going to do in life, what is going to be my career. I wanted to be an engineer, and I went to college, but I couldn't pass the English exam, even though I thought my English was very good, because, you know, back home we studied three languages. Also, I asked my brother to find me a job because it was getting too boring and I was very active. And he took me and introduced me to a, a nice old lady named Connie and uh, interviewed me and she said, oh, your English is not very good. I will hire you as a houseman, you know, preparing parties, putting tables together and so on. At the same time, I was studying English to pass my English exam. And after like three months, Connie called me to help her be a waiter on a, a very prestigious uh, party at the Gross Point Yacht Club in Michigan, which is, you know, where the elites are, they own all the yachts, they are the, the uh, high society of the U.S. and so on. You know, being a houseman, you wear this navy blue pants, a t-shirt that is light blue color, uh, sneakers, and then she calls you to be the waiter on a hundred ladies doing a bridal shower, very prestigious, high society ladies, highly demanding. But Connie, look at me, I'm wearing a houseman. Don't worry, Clovis, she used to call me Clovis. I'll fix you up. So she gets me this white jacket, a black bow tie on a blue t-shirt, sneakers and navy blue, and I am the waiter of Connie. And this was a major turning point in my life. The party was very successful and she made me her waiter. So she was telling me all her experience, she was teaching me everything about FMB. And after a year and a half or two years, Connie decided to retire. She was like 61, 60 years old. And when the board of directors asked her, uh, Connie, who do you want to be your successor in banquet management and food and beverage management? And to my surprise, she selected me. The board of directors were surprised. And of course, people who were working with her before I even was born, they were really not happy. So the first six months of my career being the banquet and FMB manager was very challenging. Finally, I learned my way through how to be a good manager. And throughout my four years of college, I got my bachelor's degree and my master's degree in engineering. And uh, while I was still working at the Yacht Club, I went and uh, got an engineering job, which was very good because I always loved to work in the field. Many members at the Yacht Club 
me being there as a waiter, a horseman, and then a banquet manager, FMB manager, they became my clients. When after two, three years in engineering, I opened my own business. And I was doing design and build, subdivisions, projects, all kinds, roads, infrastructure, wastewater treatment plants. And most of my clients were members of the Yacht Club. In, in 1993, I had a daughter, five years old, a son, two years old, who were born in the States. I had my own business, we were well established, everything was amazing. We came to Lebanon for vacation for two weeks. It was so much fun. The weather, the memories, the rides we did in the mountains, the skiing, the sea, all these memories that made us like the nostalgia, you know. And I told my wife, listen, we lived in the States. You lived seven years. I lived 13 years. This is more than enough. Let's move back to Lebanon. And that was a decision. We started our life and we were happy. We were very happy family. And my kids were growing up with their grandparents and they were growing up with their cousins and siblings. And, and we were like the, the family we want to be. And then we had another daughter in Lebanon in 1994 and, and, and that life just kept going. I kept growing, then I got another job. And the job I had was very good, was very well paid. Life went on. The job is finished. 1999, I was without a job. I opened my own business, started doing like I used to do in the States, design and build villas, subdivisions, hospitals, roads, infrastructure. So I was working. While I was doing that, and in 2005, my friend called me and he said, we want to have an interview with you, with our company CEO and the chief operating officer. So I went for the interview at the, uh, one of the hotels in Beirut where they were staying. Finally, I got hired and he said, when can you start in Dubai? And it was in 2005, I started my career in Dubai on August 20, 2005. I came to Dubai and they gave me a project, uh, you know, that it didn't go through. The client, uh, the owner of the company decided to withdraw and the project stopped. And I had the choice to go from uh, to three different countries and I decided to go to Africa, to for a new experience in Ghana, Africa. That project was very challenging and we wanted to do something different. So we built this beautiful curved hotel. From Ghana, again, the luck continued and I was hired uh, to work with Dubai Holding. And this was really my privilege to be hired in Dubai Holding. The first project I worked on was the refurbishment of Jumaira Beach Hotel. The entire project was actually challenging because of the time restraint. You know, we had to finish it all within five months and open on October 1st, 2018. This mural was painted by artists. We had to bring for them like free standing hoist, standing on like scaffolding and the post in the middle. And they had to go floor by floor and they lined up on the platform and they paint the wall all the way up and this turned out a beautiful mural on this long wall. It's, it's a wall that's 72 meter high. When I did the, the Jumaira Beach Hotel, I was recognized. I was appreciated. That's all I want in life. It's this pad on the shoulder and to tell me thank you. That's all I want. I am actually very proud of where I am today. And I am privileged to be in the position of leading major important projects for Dubai Holding and to be operated by Jumeirah. Jumeirah Marsal Arab will open for operation in 223 and that's when I hand over my baby to the operator. And this is all was achieved because of teamwork, because we respect each other, because everybody has a role and if you drill this in your team, the team will succeed and you will succeed together. It's never I, it's always we. We as a team, full respect, full appreciation, we can achieve anything. The hotel will open next year and I don't know what's coming next. I just love to build things.